I can Marcel Marcel this shit all night for the bit. I was just saying I can Marcel Marcel the shit out of that for the bit in case he was gonna keep playing the music. Anyone familiar with Marcel Marcel? I am. I am Mr. Michaels. Very familiar with the traditional, original. I was also trained under Shields and Jarnell before she died. Rest in peace. Uh, a lot of these folks don't know about the 70s, Lord, I apologize for them. But you know what? That's why I'm the best person for the job. Lord Michaels, everyone. Let's give it up for Lord Michaels. Am I wrong? I mean, come on. The guy truly is a genius. I mean, you're talking about a time period when, literally, a time period when, I mean, I was like, hey, make sure I go up because they're tired because they're on East Coast time. I'm going to be perfectly honest with the two people that are stinking it. All three. I, sometimes you forget the host is a person, too. <laughs> you know? Like, I, I had all this stuff prepared in advance. You know? I mean, you're still here. I can make the Maisel reference. You know, you got the journal and the pen. You know? I've been watching that a lot lately. Marvelous Miss Maisel. It's a great series. Uh, normally, it's a promotional bit, but I actually like that show. Um, I don't know, like... What's the point of telling jokes like that Adam would appreciate if he leaves, you know? And like, what's the point of like, I, I, I'm not, Lauren, I'm not shaking, I just had a little bit of weed, I swear I'm good, it's okay. I, I have been about two, two months sober from weed, you know? No, it's not bad. I mean, I had some really funny material, right? It's fine, I'm recording it technically and I, I could send it to him and stuff, you know? You remember that? Did anyone, you guys might not know, I literally spam texted people because I made a YouTube, I had a great set and everything. You know, like, I was going to talk about the slavery stuff. Like, okay, first off, Lauren, I, I wear protection, but they're safe here, so I'm going to take this off so you can see my beautiful smile. Yeah. You know? Like, that's the rough part about life. But I was going to make, you know, like, I did bandito jokes earlier, because we were all in a park, Mike, and then we were, they doubled down on that one, just like reached it, and then we went to this Mexican restaurant, which is also a pretty decent one. It's a little lotto. You had to buy an item of food, but my wallet's gone right now, so... You know, but I'm a man, I'll take care of that shit. I am. And, uh, what else? Like, I was gonna talk, well, I guess I could do some of the material. Like, you know, like, they cancel a lot of fucking cartoon characters lately, right? But my, my thing is, it's like, Speedy Gonzalez got in trouble. But, fucking Slowpoke Rodriguez is still in the cool. And if I'm gonna really break this down for people who understand Hispanic culture in general, Latino, Latinx, there's a lot of terms, Lauren. I'm a very, I can learn everything. Don't worry. The, but the point is, right, Speedy's just fast, right? He can, woo, boom, Speedy's done, right? But slow walk is more like, okay, you going to be okay, Speedy. Eventually, we will get over the border. See, that's my point. They canceled the one that was fast because they still are fucking shit. I mean, like, is anyone, like, I'm not political, Lauren, but I can do it for you. Is anyone aware of Biden's, like, hypocrisies, like the fact that the children are still inside of plastic futuristic cages now. I should know about the future, Lauren. Well, when you cast me, I'll be formerly future, in homage to Prince. I'm very educated. I was at the Rakim show. Pete left, so I can't talk about that stuff. You know, it happens. Pete, he likes to smoke weed. I'm glad he got back for the rest of your set, especially on timing. That's the universe, folks. Literally, he's like, oh, I want to make sure and see Marcel's stuff. He had to smoke some weed. He'd been holding out for two comics and himself. Respect to Peter for doing that, you know, and knowing true talents. And so he left, but I was going to talk about the way I like to piss people off lately is dogs. Once again, Adam, I hope you appreciate this as a dog owner. Uh, Adam's normally there, I swear. He'll be there on the 31st for the roast show. I was going to roast you, and now you're here, so it's cool, like a mini roast to promote. Oh, you're gonna roast yeah, well, I was just going to say, if you haven't seen our chillo, there's probably a reason, you know, something stupid and hacky. You know, the minute you show up, you disappear. And then I was going to, like... If people liked it, you know, because there's a full house sometimes laughing and having a good time, then I'd be like, no, seriously, uh, I need to start putting a card for every venue I've seen the two at. Just, you know, so they know that COVID is real, you know? A lot of things is real. Oh, perfect timing, Adam. I was just saying I like to fuck with dog owners lately. So I look at the dog and I basically, I'm like, you know, I go to the little dog, and, you know, or the big dog and not the human, and I, and I literally say that. Like, oh, that's a cute human you got there. Oh, man. Your human is definitely, I, I hope the human feeds you, I've seen how big your human is. And, and like, you'd be surprised at the reactions, you actually piss off the owners of dogs. You want to talk about slavery once again. I was going to say some funny shit, because people have been giving me Billie Eilish lately, so I was going to sing like, I'm a bad boy, I'm a bad boy. 
oh, okay. You know, like, because he made some hella funny, you guys weren't there yet, but it was a very funny comic. He talked about how he met Adam's landlord. It was a great, great story. I listen and pay attention. I actually really value comedy. So it's amazing to me when people get up on it. But it, that's the autism side of life, folks. And, like, I don't say things like, there was another thing earlier about gay and being gay and being black are completely different. And I've never, ever once gone up to a black person, an Asian person, a Mexican person, any cultural aspect, Lauren, even a fucking Irish person from actual Ireland, and, you know? But I've never, with my autism, I've never thought that I understood at all. And, and, and then I met black people with autism. They're very funny, like my buddy. And um, like the point is, he does know what it's like to be black, but he also gets me because he knows what it's like to be autistic. So we get along, but I get along with everyone because the one thing I know is I'm always misunderstood and I feel that way, you know? Okay, it's upside down. I'm an idiot and a retard. Hey, am I, I'm allowed to say retard. Let's give it up for everybody. Everybody that's here right now. Yeah, JD. Go ahead, man. Nah, you good.